In this example, we are trying to find f prime at 2 root 3, where our f of x is equal to x times the inverse tangent of x over 2. So we are trying to find the slope at a particular point. So in order for us to find the slope at a particular point, we need to do the derivative of this and then go ahead and plug that in. So two steps. First one is let's find the derivative. Second one is let's go ahead and plug the point in. So if we do the derivative, um, we have a product rule. So you have x times this inverse tangent. And when we do our inverse tangent, we're going to be using this formula, okay? which also will have its own chain rule applied to it. So. Um, so the derivative, so if we're doing a product rule, derivative of the first is 1 times the second, which is the inverse tangent of x over 2, and then plus the first times the derivative of the second. So this x, this is our u value. So our u is x over 2, which is also 1 half x. And I'll kind of use both versions of that because when I do the derivative, it's just a little more obvious to me when I have a one half x that my chain rule piece of this is just going to be a one half. But then when I square it, I feel like it's a little cleaner to take this because we're going to be throwing it into that formula and squaring it. So I'm going to use kind of a combination of the two. So we're doing our inverse tangent. We're doing the derivative of it. Here's our formula for doing the derivative of it. It's going to be one over our u squared. So times... Um, 1 over our 1 plus u, which is x over 2 squared, times the chain rule, so then times the derivative of that, which is 1. All right, so that is our derivative. That's our slope equation. We need some cleanup to do on this. Um, so let's kind of figure out what we got here. So this doesn't really change into anything. So we have an inverse tangent of x over 2. And then plus, um, not much. We're just going to do a little cleanup. We'll have an x on the top, uh, x on the top. And then here, you're going to have an x squared over 4. But we have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a 2 that's going to distribute to both of them. So that'll be a two. This is a, an x squared over four times it by two. It's going to be an x squared over two because we'll simplify that. All right. And then, so that took care of the, the one would multiply to the top, which is an x, and then the two would have multiplied to the bottom, which is going to distribute. So that's what that thing turns into. So that is our um, derivative. So that's our slope equation. So for us to find our slope at this 2 root 3 coordinate, then we are going to now plug that value in. And let's see what we get out of this. So inverse tangent. And then we're going to have a 2 root 3 over 2. Because we're taking our x, we're plugging in the 2 root 3 divided by 2. So I'm going to do some trig on that one. And then over here, we have. 2 root 3 over 2 plus 2 root 3 squared divided by 2. All right, so we'll come back. Well, let's just do the trick. Let's get it out of the way, and then we can kind of fight through all that stuff. So if I, let me just start simplifying. Not quite there to really figure out what I got. Uh, those twos go away, and I'm actually going to write it as this, because I'm going to draw a triangle. Um, and I know tangent is an opposite over adjacent, so I need to draw a triangle um, that is going to have a root 3 and a 1 in it, which is our 30, 60, 90 triangle. So if I draw a basic 30, 60, 90, I'm looking at a 1, 2, root 3 relationship on the sides, and I'm looking at a tangent of 60 is going to get us a root 3 over 1. So when you're doing an inverse, you're always figuring out what's the angle that would have given you those relationship with those sides. And so it would have been 60 degrees. So 60 degrees, which is pi over 3. So inverse tangent, that piece is going to be pi over 3. Plus, let's see what we got here. So here we're going to take our, we do a little extra work. We got 2 root 3 times 2 root 3 because we're squaring it. 
2 root 3 times 2 root 3. We're looking at a 4. And then that's a root 9, which turns into 3. So those are going to multiply together and get you a 12. So we're looking at 12 divided by 2. So we have a 2 root 3. And then 2 plus 12 divided by 2 is what we're sitting at. So let's keep on going. We got a pi over 3 plus 2 root 3 over, that's 6, 7, 8. And so that simplifies to a 1. That simplifies to a 4. And we are looking at our final answer of a pi over 3 plus a root 3 over 4. All right, we're going to leave it like that. We could find common denominators to combine that fraction, but um, I think that's necessary. So, all right, so that was us um, finding the slope of this function at a particular point. We found the derivative first, and then we plugged in our value. Because we had a trig, we had to do a little side work for our trig, and that's what our answer is.